With Election Day just around the corner, we are getting a look at the crowded list of candidates vying for Las Cruces Mayor. Yeah, this is Las Cruces Mayor Ken Miyagashima will be stepping down after 16 years in that very same position. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us in the studio tonight. And Shelby, you've been speaking with these seven candidates, and there's a few candidates that voters might recognize. Is that right? Yeah, Andy Natasia, out of those seven, four ran for mayor back in 2019, but Mayor Miyagashima was reelected. But a topic at the top of every candidate's mind was public safety. And uh, like I said, this is the third time that I've run. The owner of a Las Cruces bakery and current Doniana County Assessor, Eugenia Gina Montoya Ortega, trying once again to be Las Cruces City Mayor, bringing up her concerns when it comes to Las Cruces youth. And I see that it's worse for the kids nowadays and I'm really concerned about them. Um, so I would like to give them the opportunities. I would like to give the people of Las Cruces back their voices. I've worked six years on a plan for the city. Las Cruces business owner and founder of the Dream Center, a program for youth, Mike Tejas, running for the second time with plans of an amusement park and an area for controlled drag racing at the airport. So I'm looking at crime, safety, and getting things for people to do around here to you know, try to cut down on the mischievous behavior and try to get them into things that are more positive. I have the best interest of our community at heart. Former Doniana County Commissioner Isabella Solis throwing her hat in the ring once again for mayor with a focus on public safety. Uh, public safety, I believe that we need to be able to hire good qualified officers and to make it a professional career once again where officers can own that career for themselves. We need to bring trust back into that department. Okay. I think that climate change and our concerns about it in, in a desert town are growing. And candidate Alexander Baca Fresquez with a background in after school programs for youth and conservation has plans for water conservation in Las Cruces, saying if he wins, he won't take home the whole paycheck. I did multiple times throughout the campaign to donating half of the mayor's annual salary to direct services. So the mayor gets paid $80,000 a year and I've already committed to uh, donating 40,000 of the um, annual salary we are also speaking with the three other candidates who are running for the first time, including Mariah Hernandez, Eric Enriquez, and Cassandra Gandara. Make sure to tune in tomorrow night to hear from them. Andy, Natasia. Shelby, thank you.